everybody. My name is Barbara Basir. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists at Henry Ford Hospital. And it's a pleasure to be with you here today to talk a little bit about the new SAFE MCS study, looking at the safe surveillance of PCI under mechanical circulatory support with the Serranus Early Bird Bleeding Detection and Monitoring System. The problem that we have is, is that bleeding and vascular access complications have really been the Achilles heel of hemodynamic support devices. And it's been a hard thing to study. There's been variable bleeding definitions. There's been incomplete data, um, you know, whether this is the bleeding is related to access site, non-access site bleeding, um, how urgent the cases were. There's a mixed pool for example, of emergent STEMI cases or shock cases. And so it's been really challenging. And so the goals of the SAFE MCS study are to exclusively evaluate the access bleeding complications when dealing with PCI and hemodynamic support and to do that with independent adjudication. And the way that we're going to evaluate this is to perform a large perspective multi-center study using all of the current best practices related to vascular access complication, bleeding management, and large bore um, vascular closure. I'm really privileged to uh, perform this study with Philippe jean from uh, Morristown Medical Center. And we have a really fantastic cast of um, principal investigators um, throughout the sites. So the primary objective is to really identify BARC three or five major access site related bleeding. And secondary endpoints include to um, define the incidence and um, causation, um, as well as subsequent follow-up of the Serranus early bird detection um, with levels one, two, and three bleeding to be monitored. And as I mentioned previously, this is gonna be a multi-center, single arm, open label study. And we're hoping to recruit 265 patients um, in 15 sites throughout the United States. It's a very broad inclusion criteria, basically any adult patient um, that is undergoing high-risk PCI with impella support, who is not in cardiogenic shock, who is not actively bleeding, we're going to be focusing on transfemoral access, but it can be hostile transfemoral access as long as alternative access is not being used. Um, or, in, as I previously mentioned, patients who uh, are in uh, cardiogenic shock, that would be an exclusion as well. So we're really excited about the study. Um, we've already gotten underway. Um, I'm sure that you've seen it on social media uh, where uh, a few of the sites have shared their first cases. Um, and we're excited to take this on and to try to be able to provide um, answers to a really daunting question that we have um, in our field. Thanks so much. Uh, hope to uh, present the results of the study next year.